Hello friends, how are you? Today I am going to talk about Spring Boot 3.2 JDBC Client. Okay. So uh, before that, I would like to discuss something related to the JDBC template. Previously, we so currently we are using like JDBC template, right? So the JDBC template in Spring was introduced to simplify the usage of JDBC, that is Java database connectivity, and make the database operations more streamlined. So uh, I would like to discuss some of the advantages of this JDBC template. So reduced boilerplate code. So um, JDBC operations often involve a lot of repetitive code for opening connections and create, creating statements and handling exceptions and closing the resources. So the JDBC template abstracts much of this away and reducing the boilerplate code significantly. And if you're talking about the exception handling, so it simplifies error handling by converting SQL ex exception into a more meaningful exceptions that are easier to manage and handle in the application. And the next one is resource management, right? So resource management, the JDBC template takes care of like resource management, such as opening and closing the connections, executing the statements and handling the transactions and making a code, making the code more reliable and less prone to resource leaks. Okay. And the next one is parameter handling. So it provides built-in support for like parameter binding and mapping SQL query results to a Java objects and eventually reducing the uh, reducing the complexity of parameter handling and result set extraction and the next one is compatibility so eventually if you're talking about the compatibility it works well with various databases and does not tie you to a specific database technology i mean like providing a level of abstraction over the underlying database and the last one is integration with e spring ecosystem so it, it's being part of a Spring framework. I mean, like JDBC template integrates seamlessly with other Spring features like dependency injection and transaction management and exception translation. Okay. So now, drawback of JDBC template. So if you're talking about the JDBC template, what is the drawback? So why this JDBC client is came into the picture? So the JDBC template simplifies the database interactions but can become verbose when building basic CRUD operations right so basically it requires a deep understanding of methods like row mappers right so you need to write row mappers and again you need to be write like column to field mapping so which can be very challenging task while you are writing like row mappers and column to field mapping right so to overcome this basically spring 6 6.1 and spring boot 3.2 introduce a new jdbc client api so which is a wrapper on top of this jdbc template so perf for performing database operations using a fluent JPA, right? So the JDBC client stands out for its automatic configuration future, right? So what does it mean basically? So this means that uh, that requesting a bin in our application instantly provides us with an instance. So so that eventually it will eliminating the need for a manual setup and streamlining the process effortlessly, right? So basically it will eliminate that row mapper and column to field mapping as well okay you no need to write any row mappers for this jdbc client okay so these are the advantages so let's jump into the code okay so now i'm going to implementing the CRUD operations by using this jdbc client okay so uh, so to implement this basically we need a spring boot application right so i'm going to create this spring boot uh, uh, application so i need this spring initializer okay so here i'm going to take this java as a language i'm going to take this marvin as a okay build tool and so we need this 3.2.0 version right to play with this jdbc client so let's take group ideas com dot example dot jdbc here okay let's take spring boot jdbc client okay and after that we need this java version i just taken as a 17 and after that let's say add some dependencies that is spring web dependency and we need jdbc spring boot starter data jdbc dependency this one and after that i'm going to work with like uh, mysql okay so i need like mysql driver as well okay that's it let's generate this project and import into your id 
I already imported this project in my IDE to save that time. Okay, so this is the pom.xml file, and after that, we need one entity class, right? So this is my product class. I'm going to performing um, product cred operations here. That is the reason I'm just taking this uh, product as a record. Okay, ID, name, and price, and after that, I have like product repository. Okay, this is the interface. I just have like all the CRUD operations related methods find all, find by ID, save, update, and delete methods. Okay, and whereas I need product service here. Okay, so uh, before I'm going to explain about the JDBC client, so I'm going to take in this JDBC template. Okay, as an example, I'm going to convert this JDBC template, um, uh, JDBC template project into the JDBC client so that like you people get like more clarity. So where exactly this row mapper is required in the JDBC template, where is not required in the JDBC client, so that like you will get more idea on that. Okay. So uh, this is the JDBC template. I just auto add this JDBC template to work with this JDBC template methods. So the first of all, like find all method. So this find all method will like get like all the products here. So I'm going to make use this JDBC template query method, which will take this SQL that is select star from products and which will take the product row mapper here okay while you are using jdbc template we are responsible for like writing this product row mapper this row this product row mapper will have like column to your entity field mapping right so you need to specifically specify this column to your field mapping here right so that's what i said previously and if you are dealing with like uh, find by id right so if you want to uh, search like a specific id uh, then we need to use this jdbc template query for object method which will take this sql query that is select star from products where id equal to right and we need to pass as id here and we need product row mapper again here okay for your mapping and we have a save method right so to save your product basically we need this jdbc template of uh, update method which will take the sql query and which will take some params here right so i'm going to save this name and price okay that is the reason i'm passing name and price from input params and so update methods the update method will same as this save method but the difference is we need to pass the specific id right so we, whatever that product you are going to update that specific product id we need to pass it here that's it so the same update method i'm going to take it here and deleting if you're deleting like specific product right we need to pass this uh, id and your sql here delete from products where id equal to right so i'm going to use this again this update method right let's start this application okay application has been started successfully so first of all let's find out all the products okay i have three products here it's successfully returned here and let's search for search for like specific id okay this is also working fine and so let's test this post okay post call that is saving the product okay so this is my product let's hit this okay it's created successfully let's get it again okay computers is created so now let's update this price by using put api call okay so this is nine right yeah nine so let's hit this okay let's get this product again okay it's updated successfully now let's delete this okay it's deleted and let's get all the products to confirm this deleted or not right it's deleted successfully so that means by using this jdbc template all the CRUD operations are working fine so now i don't want to use this jdbc template but i want to use jdbc client instead of jdbc template right so let's go to the core so let's use jdbc client okay so let's remove this and let's go to your constructor as well that's it 
let's remove this ddbc template okay and now let's comment out this ddbc template code so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make use this jdbc client here so we have a sql method which will take our sql query here and after that we need um, this query method right so this query method will accept uh, will accept our uh, product class here okay and which will returns the list here okay so what it will does is basically the jdbc client ap will take care of like dynamically creating the row mapper by using this simple property row mapper okay it will perform mapping between uh, bean property names to a table column names by converting camel class to under square notation okay so uh, apart from this if you need like more control over uh, if you need like more control over the mapping right so you can create your uh, custom row mapper okay so like uh, if you create like your custom row mapper then you can use a new product row mapper here right so as you wish so how you want to make use you can use here right so that's it and so if you go to this query right so you will see what exactly happening this JDBC client API will take care of dynamically creating row mapper by using this simple property row mapper here, right? So uh, this will like responsible for like uh, mapping between like bin property names to a table column names by converting camel case to a uh, underscore notation, right? This is how this query will work. And the next one is find by ID, right? So the find by ID, let's comment out this one as well. So go back here and let's return JDBC client dot SQL. Let's pass this SQL. And so we need to pass the param here, right? So the param is ID because I'm going to search for a specific ID, right? And so the query again will take our product class here. Okay. And single. Okay. So single means we are expecting single product here. That is the reason I just taken single here. Okay. And so here also, if you are not satisfied with like uh, this mapping, right? So whatever that JDBC client is providing that uh, mapping, if you're not satisfied with that simple property row mapper, you can use your uh, product row mapper as well here. Okay. And saving the product. So if you are, if you want to like save your product, so again, let's take JDBC client here. So SQL will take our SQL, okay, query. And yeah, basically which will take params here, okay. So our params, basically product dot name, okay, product dot price, okay. And update that's it the next one is so i'm going to let's copy this the next one is update the product right so the update product is same as save the product so the thing is we need to pass only id here right so to specific product if you are if you are going to update we need to pass that id here that's it right so and coming back to delete so the delete is let's take gdpc client so sql okay and here we need a param so that param is our id and so let's update this okay so that's it here if you observe here basically uh, i have used like positional parameters here right so all the positional parameters so if you want like you can use like named parameters as well so instead of question mark what you can do is you can provide like this right so like this also you can provide like uh, named parameters okay and so the same thing if you passing the id here right so you need to pass id okay here as well okay so this is how 
the named parameters will work and let's restart this application and let's test it out whether it's working or not okay application has been started let's go back to postman let's hit this get all products endpoint okay so it's working fine let's search for a specific product okay this is also return this uh, specific product so that means it's working fine okay so now let's create one product by using this post api call okay so this is also created and let's hit this endpoint again to check it out whether it's created or not it's created and let's update this computer's product so let's update this price again okay and let's use your put api call here okay it's updated so let's confirm this right it's updated this price and the last one is let's delete this endpoint sorry uh, let's delete this product by using this delete endpoint okay let's hit this okay it's deleted let's get all the products again okay so the 10 product is deleted successfully okay so this is how you can make use this jdbc client okay to perform your jdbc operations okay so that's it friends i hope i have done from my side okay so if you like this video please go ahead and like this and if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please go ahead and subscribe my youtube channel thanks thanks for watching bye have a good day